What's up y'all, Josh Todd here. Today we're gonna to be inoculating some uh, grain jars. I use rye berries. The first step was to rehydrate the rye berries. Um, I parboiled them uh, for about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, just until tender, you want the grains to absorb all of the water possible without busting open or overcooking. Um, that's not good. Um, and then I strained them and then I jarred them up and I put lids on them and then I wrapped a foil over top of it and I pressure cooked it in a pressure cooker at 15 PSI for two hours and I let them cool off in the pressure cooker. So they're in there for a good two and a half, two and a, uh, like two hours and 45 minutes. And then I take them out and then I cool them off overnight. And then about 24 hours after I started the, steril the sterilization process, that's when I try to inoculate with some spores. Today I have some pink mushrooms or some pink mushroom spores. You can see the uh, scientific name on there. Uh, it's really hard to pronounce. It's gonna take lots of practice before I can start doing those. But what you wanna do is you wanna shake them up really good. And I've gloved up, you probably don't have to since you're not really uh, going inside of the jars, you're just kind of sort of injecting them through a uh, injection port. I use the uh, clear, the clear uh, RTV stuff. Um, it's not the high temperature. Uh, it works fine. Uh, this way, I can actually see my hole, and I'm not stabbing the sides of the you know lids or you know whatnot. Um, it's a preference thing. Some people will say that the red stuff, the you know, high temp stuff is the only stuff that you know, actually works. Um, not true, because uh, I'm using it. I have friends who have you know, used it and people are starting to you know, convert over and use clear. Um, so really, it's a preference thing. All right, so after you shake up real good, I don't know if you can see in there, you see all the cloudiness. Uh, that's the, the, the uh, spores and you may even see like, you know, black specks Kind of move it back and forth a little bit and you can kind of see it but I take a, a napkin and some alcohol spray it down Real good and then I take one of the tops off like This Well, this one has the uh, red stuff uh, and you see this one right here is clear. So we're gonna go with that one there first. I wipe it down real good. You wanna get all of that bacteria off of, of the uh, top so that there's no chance of uh, injecting something bad inside of your uh, grain jar. Once you, you do that, you wanna take off the uh, little cap here, put on your needle, Take it off and you see you're ready to a go. And, and again, I spray down my uh, little uh, napkin here and I wipe it off. You wanna clean that. You wanna clean everything, you know. Basically work as clean as possible and you'll have better success. Anyway, so whenever I stab it, I'm gonna aim towards the sides of it because I like it whenever the the uh, spores drip down the edges. That way you can uh, actually tell where the mycelium is you know, growing and it gets all the way down on the bottom and it helps colonize the bottom at the same time as the top does. So, take it, see, you can see the, the you know, uh, hole there. Take it, go right inside and I'm gonna squirt about one cc right there and about one cc right there. Take it out, put it aside. Now, wipe again. Again, you wanna wipe the top, the needle, whatever comes in contact with your jar and your spores, you wanna make sure that you're all good. Now see the red one here, I can't see where I'm going. Ah, I, I got it, a little over there over there take it out and we're just gonna keep on going clear one the hole right there you can see it I like that um, and again oh make sure you always wipe 
make sure you always, always, always wipe everything off. Uh, Neil too. Okay, there it is. We're gonna go in. About one cc on the side. That side over there. Take it out. Keep on shaking. Have another red one here. So, my first round, I made red, the you know, uh, red uh, RTV tops. And uh, then I was told about the clear, tried it out, and I like it. So I am slowly, you know, converting over to all clear, but I still have a few reds in circulation. And again, shake, 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 shake. You always want to spray down. I'm wiping the top. I'm wiping the needle. Going back in, do the hole right there. Go right in on one side, on the other side. Take it out. Got another one here. Let's see, we got about almost two cc's left, you know, and I got two more jars left. So I'm doing no, no, no uh, pretty good. Basically, you know, one cc per jar. This side, that side. Doesn't take much. You know, I have seen people do a whole syringe on like one jar. You know, it just depends on what you want to do. Me, I like spreading it out, getting a lot of jars. This side, this side, that side, and out. Okay, so now, big question. Everyone says, do you shake your jars or do you not shake? Me personally, I don't shake. I'm gonna tell you why. So I just squirt it down each side. I am expecting to see mycelium grow on each side and the top. So if I see anything else in any other area, I know that it's not mycelium. If you shake everything, yeah, you spread everything out, but you really don't know if it's cobweb, if it's mycelium, if it's some other funky mold that's white. But if you know where you sprayed your spores at and the mycelium is growing in that spot, then you know, good job, it's mycelium. But if you shake it, you really don't know and you're guessing. So it's a preference, it's what I do, it's what my, my buddy at Mycelium Emporium, Big Lenny, he, you know, kind of told me this and it made sense. And that's what I do. And yes, I get all of my spores from Lenny at Mycelium Emporium. I've never had a bad jar or a bad culture. I've, I've screwed up, but the spores have never screwed up. So props there, buddy. Anyway, jars, and we'll do substrate next on a different video. If you like this, tap like, spread the word, subscribe, keep watching and keep learning and keep mushing on. Peace.